Hi, this is Ken Roll at FreshAndLive.com. Wanted to do a little public service announcement uh, for people that are interested in water ionizers, specifically what are called batch type water ionizers, where rather than having a machine that connects to your faucet where the water flows through it and ionizes the water, you put water into containers and you zap it with electricity and you have control over the water and, and the time that it's that the electrolysis occurs so you can make much stronger medical grade water. Well, I've noticed because we've been teaching people how to make these and we sell these on our, on our website that there are, there's this explosion now of people on the internet showing how to make your own homemade water ionizer and unfortunately they're extremely dangerous in the way that they're showing these so I just wanted to kind of let you know if you're going to be building your own ionizer or buying a, a homemade ionizer from somebody you need to know something, okay? The electrodes in these ionizers, they have to be made of a metal that will not dissolve during electrolysis. These uh, electrodes, these are some that we used when we were prototyping this machine. We did a lot of testing over many months. It took about five months to actually find a grade of titanium that will not dissolve during electrolysis. And I've seen people on the internet showing how to make ionizers like this with spoons and forks and knives and expanded metal from eBay and uh, all kinds of stuff e and even titanium this is a specific medical grade of titanium this is ASTM F67 titanium and in our testing this stuff dissolved as a matter of fact I'll show you here you can see we'll roll over some um, images of what these electrodes look like brand spanking new they're nice and clean and shiny well, after running this for a few times, this electrode now, not only did the electrode pit and dissolve, and you can actually see the cloudiness in the water. I'm going to stir it up for you. I'll let it settle down. But I'm going to show you these electrodes. These electrodes are all pitted up. Um, but it actually dissolved the wire, the solid titanium wire holding this electrode together. Okay, So this is what happens in electrolysis if you don't use the exact grade, uh, medical grade of, of grade one titanium. There's a bunch of different ones on the internet. We'll show you a few on this video. I'll have some uh, text to show you some. But there, there are people on the uh, on the internet also saying that titanium is an element, and therefore, titanium is titanium. There aren't different grades, and medical grade, there's no such thing. Well, that is absolutely not true. There are many different grades of, of grade one titanium. There are many different alloys of it, and there are only a very, very few that are used for medical applications in um, artificial limbs and such and in water ionizers. So if you're going to make your own water ionizer, just buy some ready-made electrodes from an ionizer company where they are NSF certified, which is the National Standards Foundation. Um, and that way you'll be guaranteed that they're not going to dissolve in your water. Because even if they don't dissolve obviously and visibly, you may still be getting heavy metals in your water. So you, if you're going to be making your own, you need to make sure that you either get NSF certified electrodes or you need to test the water after you've run a few batches and check it and see, send it to a lab and check it and see if it's got dissolved metals in it. Because if it does and you're drinking this stuff, you're going to poison yourself. Okay? Uh, I've actually seen there's a guy on, on YouTube who is selling a homemade uh, ionizer and you can see the water is extremely cloudy. Now I've let this stuff settle down. And I'm going to stir it up a little bit so you can see this. But this is one of the indications of heavy metals in water. When the water is cloudy, now that doesn't necessarily mean there are, there are heavy metals in there because you can put mineral drops in, into the ionizer to make the pH very strong. And so you can just have an overabundance of minerals and make it cloudy. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting heavy metals, it's cloudy. But if you've got to make the water cloudy to get high pH, even if let's say you're not dissolving any metals into it, if you're getting cloudiness in your water, that means you're putting too many minerals into it, which is not good for you. So you want to find the sweet spot if you're making your own alkaline ionized water. You want to find this sweet spot where you have just enough minerals in the water to make strong pH and ORP, but not to where it gives you a bunch of cloudiness. Okay? So, because, I mean, you could dump tons of minerals in there and get a high pH and high ORP, 
but it's not good for you. And if you're dissolving electrodes into your water, not good for you. Okay, so please, if you're out there looking at these videos and these websites, I've seen like churches teaching their congregation how to make water ionizers with forks and knives. I mean, that's just crazy. That is totally dissolving into the water and drinking heavy metals. So you don't want to be doing that. Make sure you either get water ionizer electrodes, NSF certified from an ionizer company, or make certain that you do the research and you do the lab work to make sure you are not poisoning yourself, okay? We've done that. We, with the 2G ionizer that we sell, we've already done that work, we've done that testing, and that's why the ionizer costs a little bit more than what it would if you make it yourself. The major cost in these ionizers is that specific medical grade one titanium. This stuff is not cheap. They make they make artificial limbs with it and it's also coated with platinum which is more expensive than gold. So you're not going to get around the expense of grade one medical grade titanium and platinum. You're just not going to get around that expense. Uh, if you try and go on the cheap and use stainless steel or aircraft grades of titanium, you're going to poison yourself. So anyway, have fun making your own ionizers, but just do the science, do the testing, know what you're doing, and be safe about it, okay? So anyway, that's, that's, that's it from, uh, from me, and uh, check out our website if you want to see our ionizers, and uh, have fun making your own.